How you doing, How's it going, Austin? sir? Can you hear me? How you doing, I'm Austin? doing pretty good. How are you? Uh, Darian Smith uh, with the Sandy Shores uh, Police Department. I am a detective with Internal Affairs. Okay. And I am just observing your your stop here to see if all procedures are being followed. We have complaints of you in particular and one other officer harassing someone over in Harmony. And okay. uh, we're just investigating and making sure that everything is done to, uh, you know, to the letter of the law and that we're not uh, harassing people or abusing power. Okay. So I'll, we'll just be, I'll just be sitting here watching and okay. making sure everything is cool. All right. Thank you. All right. One thirty three, you wanna fill me in real quick? Okay, you're done searching him. Yeah, after you're done. Or one king anyone you wanna fill me in? Over here. We can go up to my squad car. Sorry, I had to ten one them. But uh yeah. Anyway, what's going on is basically he said that he's riding down the street training for the Olympics and the shots fired are not actually shots fired. He has a cap gun in his pocket. Okay. So all the shots that we thought we heard or that they thought they heard were cap guns because he's training for the Olympics. Okay. Um, we'll see what... uh. One King 33 has after he searches him so he finds a weapon on him. 10-4. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. What's up, One King 21? Mm, I have a sneaking suspicion about something. Sir, you had three officers chasing you for quite a little bit here down Marina before you actually stopped. It was over by the boathouse. It, you were not that fast. I was directly behind you. You realize we could take you in for felony evasion. You realize that, right? You realize I started to pull you over down there and you finally pulled over all the way down here. We could pull. We could take you in for felony evasion. I'm just letting you know that. <laughs> uh, give me just a second, one king thirty three. Let me let me talk to you privately. You must be. You must be some important guy, man. You got the whole department out here. Okay. Um. I don't want him. I don't want to just let him go. 
uh, because he did evade for quite a bit. I don't necessarily want to take him in because it wasn't, you know, a extremely long pursuit or anything. I don't think there was really much bad will there, but um, I, I he can't get off scot free for that. I agree. We could give him a uh, summons to appear in court. Uh, um, or confine him. I don't know. I don't know. The rim is... The rim is yeah, a little okay. bent. I like that. You want to let him know or me? Yeah. All right, sir. All right, sir. What we're gonna do? Um, I'm gonna have my officer, One King Thirty Three, write up the report real fast. We're gonna give you a summons to appear in court. You're gonna sit before a judge. Um, you're likely gonna either face a hefty fine or public service in the form of community community work. And uh, upon co completion, you'll get this wipe from your record you did evade so we want to make sure that this is taken seriously but I don't believe there was really much bad intent within that so we're not going to take you in but we're going to give you some to appear and my officer I think has the report right there for you yep yeah uh, all the all other units can go 10-8 Uh, he's the uh, he's an investigator with the San Andreas Police Department, Ethics Department. Yeah, and make sure, sir, try to drive on the on the side of the road if you can. Don't be. They'll be biking in the in the street, holding up cars and whatnot. It's it's unsafe, especially with no helmet. Alrighty. You too. Uh, he's uh he's the Sandy Shores uh police department uh Internal investigator affairs. with the ethics department. He's just supervising right now. Uh. Making sure there's no ethic uh, concerns. Officer, can I talk to you for a minute? Mm -hmm. Oh, who's talking to me? Oh, Ryan, <laughs> can I talk to you? Officer Burke. Practically, yeah. Can I talk uh, to you for a there was a, a complaint on me and one King eighty one prior with the uh, with the jogger and the red vehicle fiasco. Um, I know the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fill you in later on it. Sir, are you are you good? You got everything you need? Well, I have a few questions on this particular stop. Why was the whole department pulling over a bicycle? Sir. Hello. Oh, wait. No, I have you unmuted. Can you? Sorry, you might have your mic muted. Oh, oh, I have myself. Okay, my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a few questions about why the old apartment was pulling over one bicycle. Uh, he was uh, taking off, and then I we only had three officers on scene, and I called in additionals when I saw you pull up. Um, and I figured, because I didn't know who you were, so I called them in. To have a little bit of backup just in case. Oh, and okay. Then, and but once you verified who I was, what I was here for, yes, I was going to that. Why did you send them away after that? So the reason why I did that is because I know you're with the ethics department, and I wanted you to see a uh, majority of the department on scene. Uh, we do have Captain One King Forty Three. He's at the station right now, suiting up. Uh, we have One King Thirty Two suiting up right now too. So we do have other officers. Uh, on duty right now it wasn't the entire okay. department, but well, I wanted you to see the officers. The here. only thing that I would say about is that once you verified who I was, 
it was not necessary to have the whole department over here that I saw because uh, there's other criminals in this town that, you know, or people that are breaking the law, speeding or whatever. And uh, to have all those cops here for one bicycle is a little extreme. No, I can understand, sir. The reason why I, I had them on scene was so that you could see them. Uh, you can see how we, we follow procedure and whatnot. I wanted you to see that. Uh, I did not see which unit it was uh, at the, uh, um, I forget what road it is, but where the railroad tracks, there's a stop sign at the railroad tracks coming into Sandy Shores. Okay. Uh, the officer was coming out of Sandy Shores, stopped at the stop sign uh, across from where I was coming from over the railroad tracks. And that bicyclist came from behind me, went through the stop sign, and the cop didn't do anything. Did not go after the bicyclist. Uh, bicyclist is, from what I understand, have to obey all road laws uh, just like a car does. So a bicycle should have stopped at the stop sign, but he totally ran through it and the cop just sat there. Okay. Um, sir, I'm going to have to go. We're getting a major call uh, all right. in our system right now. I have to go, okay? All right. No problem. Thank you. I'll be keeping my eye on you guys. Check out our t-shirt at our merch store. The link is down below.